deserves our gratitude. But one Marine's story has become legend within the Marine Corps. Four years ago, Sergeant Rafael Peralta signed up for the Marines just 24 hours after he got his green card. Peralta was killed in battle. The military is honoring Peralta, but his family and many of his fellow Marines believe he deserves more. They say he believes they believe he deserves the military's highest honor. Fox's Douglas Kennedy, Kennedy has the story. In 2004, Fallujah was on fire, filled with combatants looking to kill American soldiers. On November 15th, Marine Sergeant Rafael Peralta, a newly accepted citizen of the United States and by all accounts a true believer in the war on terror, entered Fallujah as part of Operation Phantom Fury. They were going room to room, clearing houses, uh, entering the gate. During the fierce fighting, Peralta took a bullet to his head. Seconds later, an insurgent tossed a grenade between him and his men. It was then five soldiers swear they saw the 25-year-old California resident do something superhuman. Describe what his friends say he did. One of them looked him straight in the eye as, you know, the grenade rolled by his head, and he reached over and pulled the grenade up under him and showed it all the guys in the room from the blast. It was, in fact, the ultimate sacrifice, a true act of heroism that instantly became part of Marine Corps legend. Everyone, including Peralta's family, thought he was a cinch for a posthumous Medal of Honor. But Secretary of Defense Robert Gates this week turned him down, awarding him the Navy Cross instead. Peralta's family says they're devastated. I understand his mother says she doesn't even want the Navy Cross. It's got mixed feelings on it. Um, she believes that he deserved the, the Medal of Honor. And it, it's disgusting that, that they're wanting to offer the Navy Cross. His family thinks it's possible Peralta's previous status as illegal alien may have played a part in Gates's decision. But the Pentagon insists that's not true. They say the bullet which first struck Peralta killed him instantly and that grabbing the grenade may have been a simple reflex. They say his arm may have pulled this grenade underneath his body by accident. What do you say to that? That's inaccurate. He pulled it under him. He was well capable of doing that. Well, our thanks to Douglas Kennedy for that report. A California